Hello, my name is Wei Yu. Here are my co-authors from Louisiana State University. Based on Wolf Hydro, we developed many new features. We can provide the best model performance for real-time and research. The detailed information is available from the website. This talk will focus on the major features related to the coastal flood modeling. It is a combined uh, condition for coastal flood, including heavy precipitation, river flooding, and storm surge. We wrote a new model framework to improve the flexibility and model performance. It can be connected with different weather and land models as well as weather model ensemble systems. The distributed parameter adjustment is part of the model framework to guarantee that the user can get the best model performance. The coupled wolf water model function is available, and the user can use it for research in both inland and coastline and coastal flooding as well as climate change. Generally, the weather and river forecast can come from the coupled model system and benefit on both sides. The overland flooding, river flooding, and ocean boundary are combined together in the new development. The ocean boundary provides the impact from the storm surge or the coupling with the ocean or wave models. In Wolf Hydro, the ocean the user usually faces the issues to set up the parameters in order to get a good model performance. This is the case to show the automatic parameter adjustment. The red line is the observation. The black line is the final model results. Other lines are the intermediate output. The model has a simple self-learning function to adjust the stream flow magnitude and phase to match the observation. The whole procedure is integrated in the model framework. Same method works for big domains with multiple stations. This is a model performance evaluation about the concept of the parameter adjustment in the new model framework. We set up the parameters based on the first event and then run the model continuously for three months. The red line is the observation, and the blue line is the model results. With the new model framework, the user does not need to worry about the model performance anymore. This test also verified the new land writing scheme, which will be used for overland flooding in the following part. We proposed a new method to run a high-resolution water model for flooding risk estimation. The detailed flooding information can be achieved by simulating the flooding process, which combines the land, river, weather, and ocean conditions. The general idea is to estimate the flooding risk for a region based on historical extreme events. We can use the conditions from the extreme events to drive the water model and uh, estimate the flooding risk. This feature can also be applied to different project estimations, such as highway, railway, bridge. Here is the testing domain on Mobile Bay. The land model is 1 km resolution. The land writing is 100 m. The river will be affected by the ocean boundary. The land dis discharge to either river or ocean will be affected by the river and the ocean water height. Here is the demonstration of the inundation caused by the ocean water increasing from 1 to 4 meters. The field colors are the pond surface water. There is no precipitation or river condition. Now we consider the combined situation. We assume the ocean water increases from 1 to 4 meters within 48 hours. The precipitation of 25 mm per hour lasted for 48 hours. Here is the maximum pounded surface water at each grid cell during the simulation period. There are red spots 
indicating the ponded water area away from the ocean boundary. We also see the red areas related to the ocean boundary, indicating the possible interaction between land discharge and the ocean or river water height. In this test, the information is available in a 100 meter grid cell. Users can increase the land writing resolution, such as 50 meters or 30 meters, to get a higher resolution data. The 25 mm per hour precipitation has been used. Users can also increase such as 50 mm per hour for a much stronger precipitation strength. We output the overland flow. The left is in x direction, the right is in y direction. Those can be used for research such as land size and mud size. In this talk, we demonstrated the functions from the new development, the coast flooding from heavy precipitation, river overbank, and storm surge are combined in one model system. It can be converted to real-time forecast when the real-time forcing data are provided. The future work will focus on more real-time application opportunities and various collaborations. Louis and State University are working on another two parts, the coupled with ocean model and the settlement functions. The package is open for community research. For more features or questions, you can check the website or send us an email. Thank you.